knocked at two seconds. Actually didn't foul, knocked the ball out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. He was looking for a foul. Trying to foul, yeah. And Rick Stansberry was clearly trying to foul on both plays, just did not get it the second time. One of those great things, coaches, they say, go ahead and foul. And the last thing you want is to attempt to foul and then knock the ball out of bounds. Right. The team still has possession. Rhodes in traffic. Jemison again, an outstanding defensive job by number 23 of the Crimson Tide. Stewart found an avenue in the paint, took advantage of it. Yeah, and see what happens there on the drive. Jemison does not want to leave Charles Rhodes on the block, and instead of sliding over and stopping the drive, it allows Stewart to get all the way to the rim for a big Mississippi State basket. G is fouled by Stewart. That's a block. some rumbling behind us there's some concern the building is uh, rocking a bit not exactly sure why some of our standards may have something to do with weather conditions still exist in downtown Atlanta thank you for your there's a tornado warning in downtown Atlanta we're being told and it has caused uh, the top of the Georgia Dome is, is actually moving. But we do have power, which is amazing. I do see some movement. Actually, some debris in the air behind us. Right. They're coming from the roof. see our camera. If, if there's any way we can get our camera to point in the direction that we're in. Upstairs, you'll be able to see the standard. There you, there you have it. Our camera guy, many of our camera guys, have been taken away from their positions because of this. Gary Clem, our director, and apparently a tornado warning was in the area. So it, this could be a case of a tornado actually being in the area, and it definitely sounded like a locomotive. It did. It sounded like a freight train, which, which is the sound of a tornado. Which is the sound of a tornado. Yeah, and it clearly was exactly that. And, and both, both teams are off the floor, yeah. we should say. They have taken both teams back to the locker rooms. I've oftentimes been told that in situations like this, uh, Dome Stadium is, is the best possible place. In this building, and uh, obviously everything is shut down. The teams and the officials are off the floor. They're back underneath the... Uh, in the locker room area. Listen, yeah, the, the, the public address announcer is uh, making sure that the fans are made aware that there is severe weather in the area. But I, I must say, what looked to be panic initially calmed down within the last uh, couple of minutes. Uh, I, I have to applaud the security people here for doing their best to make sure that we did not have a. Uh, you know, a situation where people were going to be harmed by quickly trying to exit the building. The people in the top of the building were the ones that were, as you can expect, most concerned. Right. Let's go over to Dave Baker. Dave? Dave, are you there? Well, apparently Dave's having... Hello. Do we have Dave? Yes. Okay, go ahead. All right, uh, Dave, I'm sorry. We've uh, obviously took a hit of some kind here, but as, as, we, as we were sitting here... What happened is, uh, and I'm trying to see the monitor here so you can see by this. Dwayne, if you can see this, you, you've got the suspended roof here at the Georgia Dome, and there's like a scaffolding, almost like a catwalk. And we're sitting there, and all of a sudden, it sounded like a freight train. And I look behind me, and that thing is moving. And our guys, have they, uh, have they uh, taken off from the camera platform up there? Yes, they had taken off. Well, that's a good thing. And, I mean, it literally sounded like a train coming through. And I don't want to say this. But no, almost, no, we've already said that. I can almost feel like moisture coming through <laughs> yeah. like the roof. But yeah. this is one of these suspended roofs. And you didn't know, you know, somebody said, you know, earthquake or we what? Have a, we have a, a replay that we're currently showing, Dave. I got it, Timmy. And uh, now you're near a monitor. Okay. And you can see the material that's there in that roof that is coming down. It was shaking so violently, and now we're being told that uh, severe weather in the area, and I guess it was thunder that was rumbling. 
And uh, I believe it may have been more than that. <laughs> Because it may have been more than that. Well, you know, it, it presents a real challenge. Because you could see you ripples in the can. top. You could see ripples in the top of the dome. And, and you know, Tim, uh, you know, they're playing some music and everybody's trying to relax right now, but it really presents a quandary for officials here, and that's why they go through every scenario. Because with weather like that, you can't take people outside. No. You, you know, you got to keep everybody in here where it's safe. And, they're in contact with the National Weather Service. And there, there's the standard of scaffolding that uh, you were talking about. Uh, I believe Dave Neal has uh, gotten to his host location, uh, and uh, he, he probably has an even more unique perspective of what transpired. Let's go up to Dave. Yeah, uh, I see it. Timmy, it was, uh, it was amazing. I'm over here. We have I some guys you. on our crew on this host position. See we're up uh, above the floor.